What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog and today's vlog is pretty special because I got my very special friend Chris here from US and we just met randomly for some tour to like the north part of Uita, right? Mm. So the north part of Uita can explore and what's going on over there but luckily or coincidentally we came to Kitahama and found this. Guess what? What is this? This is a ramen festival, right Chris? Ramen festival? I think so, I don't know what I it is. So, yeah. Well, this is a ramen festival going on here in Kitahama, downtown Kitahama. And the best part over here is actually the kids, the high school kids who are actually, uh, you know... Talking their wares. Yeah, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're doing crazy and we're just gonna explore it with Chris today, right? They want to buy all the ramen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chris. So what's up? How's it going? It's good. It's, it's good. good. Yeah. We'd like to introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm from the U.S. Uh, I'm in Beppu right now doing the APU thing <laughs> and uh, traveling around Japan when I can. And uh, yeah, just enjoying everything. And life is great. So Whoa. that's awesome. That's awesome. So let's let's get into here. I mean, that's that's crazy. I mean, these people are getting crazy up here, right? They're very serious about selling all this ramen. Yeah, and and you know what? This is rarely seen in uh, in my country. Like the high school kids, they're they're been so active in sales. That's uh. crazy. I mean, they're dedicated. You know. Mm. Well, that's let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Actually, she's having a sales over here and she's really dedicated. Yes, Oita Ramen. Oita Oita Ramen. Oita Ramen. Me, me, me. Oita Oita. From Oita City. From Oita City. Oh, so. Oita Ramen. Oita Oh great! Boy, I gotta go that She's also from Kitaki. That's not just the people who are selling, also the people who are eating. Yeah. They're like, they're eating very easily and then they put all of the utensils and silverware afterwards and they, yeah. it's done. Like, yeah, and there is no mess. wastage, there is yeah. no wastage here, there is no, like, you know, like the garbage there's, here. There's so no rubbish bin. Yeah. And so they just take their, their finished utensil and bowls and everything exactly. and then they return them to the place. So right. it's really nice, actually. And now me and Chris are going to go somewhere else, yeah. going to explore a something a little bit more, like what's available in here. And we're going to then, you know, go for our tour, guys. So me and Chris walking in downtown Pepe. Pool, and you're going for yakiniku guys it's gonna be a crazy lunch right now so I'm following Chris behind and this is the place the smell is crazy you know guys so we are starting our lunch here we got a lot of foods and Chris gonna do the kampai all right kampai <laughs> so yeah we're gonna burn the The people who grill professionally, okay. man, those guys, they have some skill. This, this is okay. It is just fried, the beef. And Chris is enjoying his yakiniku. It's really delicious, guys. Believe me or not, it's really delicious. I think this thing has some magic, right, Chris? This, this, this thing has some magic in it. We just finished our lunch. Ipai! We are Ipai. And we are like, you know, we are just walking around towards Beppu Station and you, as you guys can see, the view is beautiful. There's a whole bunch of sailboats out there. Yeah, man. It's a high school class and they're taking sailing lessons. And so 
serious. Uh, all right. They're out there doing uh, the future. Seriously? Yeah, right now. They do it almost every day. Okay, Especially when the weather is this nice. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Look at that. Those marines over there is beautiful. I mean, oh my god. That's wonderful, right? I mean, crazy. It's that's about uh, two meters deep until the breakers. Okay. And the breakers are about uh, maybe two meters tall. Right. And I love this view actually. Whenever I come, this this big what is that called? Mountain or something? Mount, uh, mount Ima. Some sort of mount. Ma ma I mean, what mount? Whatever. But adventure place. Yeah. And I mean, a little bit further. Let's go wherever it is. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's, let's go. see what, what what is there. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Let's go. Oops. Have a look, guys. It's so big. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, you guys can just shower up your whole body from here. What's this name? It, the name of this place is called Takegawara Onsen. Chris, you want to do some onsen now? No, right? No, no, no. no. Yeah, after our trips. You're going to go here after our trip. What else? Oh, alright. So we are actually in the red light district of Beppu and this place is kind of like very famous for tourists. So like Beppu is a tourist tourist city but what you can find here is a mixture of tourism as well as you know Europe. like beautiful atmosphere for living like so very calming relaxing yeah I mean it's it's a really disciplined city actually you know and what Beppu and Oita is gonna do next is the Itacon Valley where they're gonna bring the IT entrepreneurs and internet entrepreneurs here so this might be also very good you know mm. mixture of tourism APU education and then the entrepreneurship in uh, Nakama, this restaurant is pretty famous. Usazatora. Usaz Usagi. Oh, Usagi. <laughs> All right, I forgot Japanese guys actually. Usagito. It's Usagitora. This place is quite famous, right, Chris? Mmm. And guys, I mean, that's awesome, right? I mean, no one is here. I think they turned into onsen, is it? It's a school. It's a school? Really? We are in Beppu Station, finally we reached and we are watching, as you guys can see, there are some performance going on and it's, it's, about to begin. it's about to begin and this is something which happens every week in Beppu Station or I think in a lot of stations as you guys see, saw in my previous vlogs. Look at that guys, how they're, it's a Japanese way of introducing themselves. They're kind of like right now, they're introducing what they're gonna do right now. That's crazy, guys. I mean. You see, Chris is so serious, you know. <laughs> All right, we're, oh, just, oh, it up. we're just enjoying the Japanese stuff, you know. So this is basically the last track we've been listening here. As you guys can see, the kids are really enjoying. We got a little kid here. Just reached here in Saiki. This place is pretty chill, pretty quiet. I mean, it's kind of village, so not much like a metropolis or cosmopolitan city. Well, this is the place. I mean, you see, it's so quiet. The pink letter has a schlong dong. Look at that. Yeah, guy. what is that? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. He look at that. hung like a giant. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's also in Beppu as well. That yeah, uncle. Right? The yeah. uncle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a small town and there is actually always opportunities in small places. So where are you going, Chris? Uh, we are going to the castle of uh, Saiki, so Saiki Psyche. Castle. Okay. And uh, there's lots of famous stuff in Saiki, but we don't have a lot of time. Right. So today we're just going to visit the castle. Okay, so you're going to go to the castle of Saiki. Yeah. So you guys can see me, I'm also walking around, catching up all these beauties up here. Doing something crazy to get in. Can you get in, Chris? Yeah, but I'm just taking some pictures. All right. So here we are. So look at this. Look at this place. I mean, this is something crazy. Something really sin. To come to this rural area, you know, to see those sort of stuffs. This is a horror film shooting going on here, guys. That's crazy guys, that's really exciting and the, and the sun is setting soon so it will be dark when you return. Oh man, look at this beautiful city, Saiki guys. Maybe we can actually use this place Chris in the future for our some movie shooting and stuff. Right? <laughs> okay. And you know what Chris, what I want to 
say and end up from this place is actually you can find businesses and everywhere i mean this place is abandoned but what what if i mean you come here and shoot some movies or you know do some crazy things up here yeah, right mm -hmm. so yeah i mean this place is crazy and you're crazy i've been discovering some great places in japan and we're gonna keep doing it for real this is something really amazing i mean yeah there's maybe the statue of buddha and the statues up here i don't know where chris is my crazy buddy but i got to search him out i mean where he's been all right guys so that's for today we are end of today's vlog and you're gonna go back now so so today was psyche um we are here at psyche's main castle right um this castle I think it's over 117 years old or it's over 100 years old. Yeah. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching this vlog. Thanks a lot Chris as well. Yeah, so you. you're going to come up with something great maybe in the next coming weeks. So mm -hmm. see you guys later. Till then. See that's you. all. Thank you. All right. So now this you can you guys can see the back. It's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sunny. It's so sunny. I love sunny, you know. Well, it never ends guys. You guys can see this beautiful place up here up there up there, you know. Man, this wonderful city, man. This is crazy. Street people, look at the street, guys. I mean, that's crazy. Okay? It's different. I mean, it goes somewhere. Miyazaki, I guess. Damn, it's getting dark.